Okay, so I've already shot this video one time. I've already done it. But I'm doing it again. I'm right now. Let's get it, man. Yo, what's up with this nigga? It's Nas nigga hits everything in between. It's your boy Trey D. Trey D's kids coming to you live from, well, another undisclosed location. But y'all can see I'm in a different room and, and this, this is not my stuff. But anyway, man, it doesn't even matter. But I've already shot this video. It did not turn out right. I still was, I was taking pictures before, like a few days before, and I never changed the setting. And so I, when I went to go edit this video, I'm like, I forgot to change the setting. Y'all don't really care about that, man. Y'all just want me to get into this video. So, before I get into this video, man, if you have not hit that subscribe button already, man, hit that subscribe button. If you have not already hit that notifications bell for your boy, hit that notifications bell if you are already subscribed to the channel, man. But, you know, if you like what you see, hit that thumbs up for your boy and leave comments in the comment section. Your boy is always in the comment section, fam. So, let's go. Matter of fact, hold on. Matter of fact, because I am actually talking to someone right now in my comments to uh berlin b so hey if you're watching this video fam i'm gonna reply to you as soon as i get done but we've been talking back and forth but anyway so let's go ahead and get into this video man right here y'all know what today is it is saturday september 28th september 20th i knew that and it is jordan release day y'all know what came out today it is the first class flight air jordan ones so right here in hand, but I went to foot action. No, I actually was able to reserve like three pair, but I only picked up two pair uh, because the prices weren't really going that much for that much on uh, StockX. So I honestly don't know what I'm gonna do with these, but I know what I'm gonna do with this pair because this is a size six Y. So the six Y's have been going up and down, fluctuating. So I'll hold on to these for a second. And then here is the other pair. This is a size 11 right there. As y'all can see it, man. And I got both of these from Foot Action. And they let you use the coupon. So if you had a coupon, you can go ahead and use it. I had a $10 off, a $20 off, and I had another $20 off. Came out to 118 and some change. And these came out to 151 and some change the official name air jordan one retro high og of course and the official colorway is white dynamic yellow and black and like i said these are a size 11. y'all let me know what y'all think about these new uh labels stamp y'all already know what the air jordan one box looks like like i said before because i did this video already but they came just like this man just how i like them and as soon as you open the box you can smell air jordan ones and i like that now the only reason i did not know exactly what i'm gonna do or i do not know exactly what i'm gonna do with these shoes man is because i don't have anything to go with this super bright yellow but let me go ahead and take both of these out from the pictures that i saw i really wasn't feeling them um once i took them out of the box the first time man and i was like okay it's a little something different and you have a spare set of laces right here in this like neonish yellow and these are bright yellow man um, of course you come with the normal white laces and this is them right here man and let me tell y'all first off because I did not really like these just because of all of the little perforations if y'all remember those perforated ones um, it's not as pronounced but these still have a lot of preparations but let me tell you the reason why I actually did like them um, because the pictures did not show these but when you get them in hand you can see like little wrinkles right there you can see little wrinkles in the leather so it's not just perforated smooth leather it's actually perforated leather but it's kind of got that textured feel to it um, I wouldn't call this tumble leather or anything like that, but it is a different textured leather. That's a nice touch. That leaves me at the dilemma of am I going to keep these or am I going to just sell them? Like I said, I'm selling the size 6 regardless. 
So I'm not even worried about that. But let's go ahead and get into the review. But this is the right shoe right here. And off the top, the one thing that I did not notice from before is that it has a yellow swoosh on this side and then we have a white swoosh on the outside. And so when you're wearing the shoe, on the outside you will see this, but on the inside you will see this yellow swoosh right there. So a different touch, man. I did not know that was on this shoe. Your upper is done in all perforated leather, uh, crinkled leather. I don't even know what you want to call this leather, but it's, I'm going to call it crinkled leather. And like I said, right here you have your yellow swoosh. And then once you go to the back, you turn into the white swoosh going to this side right here. Now this swoosh is actually lined in a yellow, which is pretty cool. It's different. It just gives you that hint of yellow right there. And this one on this side is not lined with white, but you know, it is what it is. Of course, right here, what makes this shoe so different is the actual barcodes that are on here. You have barcode right here and then also a barcode on the back. Uh, normally where nothing is unless you buy like a, another like a mid or something and you have the jump man back there here you go with this barcode I'm not sure exactly what this number is significant of but if you know in the comment section man let me know you have your barcodes right here and then this is the I guess I guess this would be probably like the uh, the boarding pass Air Jordan uh, 1023 and it also says first class flight right there so y'all can see that man and that's a nice touch right there and as you notice right up here on the upper uh, you actually have perforated yellow let's see if that focuses yeah perforated yellow right there and then as you go down right here you have this 23 and that like recycle sign i don't know what this sign is but it's, it, it reminds me of the, like the recycle sign again but you have michael jordan's signature right there for the uh boarding pass i'm guessing and this one actually looks like a tag, but you cannot take it off. It doesn't do anything. It looks like a little tag. Um, and honestly, this one right here, I'm looking at it again. It looks like a, this thing looks like a sticker right here. It honestly looks like you can take this off, but you cannot. I'm not gonna be the one to try because if I sell these joints, I don't want StockX to send these shoes back saying that, nah, nah. Anyway, man. Going to the tongue, you have a nylon tongue right here, of course, and I like this touch right here because you have the Nike Air in a leather. This is a leather tab up here, man, So, which is cool. Um, and then, of course, you got on the inside as well. The only thing that I'm kind of confused about with this shoe is why did they line the tongue in red? I'm not sure. I'm not sure why they did that. Um, nothing on the shoe is red other than this. So I'm not exactly sure why they did that. But then let's go ahead and go to the inside of the shoe. On the inside of the shoe, of course you got your white laces and then your normal shoe tree right there, cardboard shoe tree, nothing spectacular there. And here you are on the insole with your, it's like a, it's like a neon yellow. The camera's picking it up. It's like a yeah, it's neon yellow. I would say it's pretty much the same. Nike Air on the inside and then of course your midsole here is white and then your outsole has the yellow right there and so y'all have to let me know what y'all think about these shoes i'm not going to do an on foot just because i i'm not sure if i'm going to keep these joints or not i'm going to hang on to them for a little while just to see what they do on stock X. i'm not ashamed to say man i will resell a shoe very quick a lot of the shoes man that i've caught lately they've just been for a resale Oh, shout out to uh, Twin Souls as well. I saw them boys up there too, man. So shout out to them, man. I need to link up with y'all, man, because I know y'all said y'all were gonna let me do some early looks, man. So I definitely need to link up with y'all. As far as the, the quality, I don't see any difference in the quality. These do come with a spare lace, uh, which is good, man, for GS sizes. I know sometimes they don't come with those spare laces, but uh, right here. Now, the one thing that I do see that is different and it might not be too noticeable the threading on the swoosh is like a neonish yellow it's a lot different than this on here the threading on here so i'm not sure if you can see the difference if you can see that that's a lighter yellow and then this one is more like it's a part of the swoosh type thing but as far as the quality man it's pretty much the same thing there's nothing different 
you still got your leather tab here right there and of course you still got your laces on the insole normal normal shoe tree stuff like that man so i know these joints will jump up in price uh, so i'm gonna just hold on to these probably for a little bit the money that i have gained from reselling i'm gonna show y'all what i'm gonna do with some of it not all of it but some of it so stay tuned for that man that's coming up in november so y'all have to stay tuned for that but your boy is about to get out of here man i am actually about to make a move i'm about to go back down to my homeboy's house because we are going to watch the fight tonight and i think i might do another video because he wanted me to do a video on his truck so that's coming up as well but your boy is about to go ahead and get out of here man i need to go ahead and edit this video so with all of that being said i'm a little